Hi, my name is Chien. Welcome back to the Umbraco Learning by Example project. And today in this video, I would like to show you how to add in a switcher for multiple language in Umbraco. Okay, so we have done the setting multiple language for Umbraco website in the previous video. When we are set into the website by this URL, you can see here we are viewing the English content and when we change it into the another language in Vietnamese so we can see the the, the the content of Vietnamese okay cool so now in this video today I will show you how to adding a new icon here the icon for English and also another icon for Vietnamese and then when the user click on the icon Click click on the English so we will view the content in English language. And the same thing when click on the Vietnamese so we will view the content of Vietnamese. Okay, so let's do it. This one is the Amproco admin website. So now I will go ahead to create some uh, property setting home I will add new property into the okay let's see here we have content welcome property okay so I will add new property into the content tab Or we can also create another tab for this one. Open the setting. Home. I will create a new tab. I will name it the language. This language. Language flag. I will select this one is the uh, file upload the submit. See. Back to content, click on a click. You can see here we have a new tab called the language. It, it contains property language flag. The same thing for the Vietnamese. Yeah. Okay, so now I will select the an image for the the, the Vietnamese and a link to Vietnamese an icon this one. Okay. Okay, so now I will open the short code. <clears throat> I will open the view should be but to view home banner no no header okay so this one is a short code for a minute in the content for navigation menu we have done in another video later, uh, before. Okay, so now I will add new code here.
we getting all of the core language in the system. And now, okay. I will write the code here. So, it should be here. For example, I will have the English and Vietnamese. Yeah, it should be something like it. And it did a bit playing the the label here. Take take I mean take message here. So we will display the an icon from the Ampro Amproco website and mean. Okay, so now we write the code for displaying the content here. We'll remove this one. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this one had been overlapped by an um, by the logo. So now I will temporarily disable the logo. Okay. It looks not good for now, so I will add some style here. I will write the code for this one. Okay, cool. It looks better. And now, when you click on the English, so it should be display the content for English only. The same thing, click on, you can, you can see the URL also change. It changed to the uh, domain slash English and Vietnamese domain slash VN. Okay. It work fine for now. However, when you take a look into this one, there are the, the, the text displaying the language here. I think it look not good. So so now I will write the code to display an icon from the Amroco um, admin to display here. Okay, so now open header. I back to the admin page here and take a look into the setting home. I will see it in the languages language. I have a property name language flag. Copy it. So now I will check if a land has property
okay property value okay so this one in this displaying the name here I will display an image We limit the, the the size of image displaying on the website. Okay. Refresh this one. Yeah. So you can see here for now is displaying an icon for the languages so we have icon for English and another one for Vietnamese when I click on the English it will display the content for English only on the website and the same thing when I click on the Vietnamese icon here so it should be display the Vietnamese content okay back to this one I will open the home page. I will try to change it to the Vietnamese here. Refresh. Yeah, you can see here. For now, we can see the content in Vietnamese. Switch to the link. Yeah. Okay. So now, when you take a look into the navigation here, you can see we have the uh, link display here. This one is a, a root nodes of the Content G. So now if you don't want to display it on the navigation and how to do it. Okay, so we have done some the configuration for I mean for the in another page we have the property Amproco navigation high. When you when we check this text box, so it will hide the navig it on the navigation. However, it does not work for the root node here. So now we cannot use this that way. Indeed, uh, do, we do the setting by using the Apropo Navigation High option a property here. So we will update a little bit of code back to the controller. We have the size set the layout controller to handle this one scroll down this one is a method to get the navigation lead okay not this one and here get the navigation model i will comment this one by default this one is a root tree of the navigation so now comment it and build the project again okay so i will comment out here Refer this one. This one should be high. 
Okay, so you didn't see the inlet anymore. When I switch into the pyramid, didn't see the uh, VN anymore. Okay, so now we should make the logo bike. Cool. Okay. I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to uh, create the language switcher for the Umbraco website. Uh, in this video and the the previous previous video, we have done the creating multiple language for this website. And after you follow both video, so I think you will know how to implement it for the website project. Hope that helps and feel free to let me know. If you see any issue, bye bye. Talk to you later.